so I got over 7,000 page views with like 20 minutes of programming and over over 90,000 clicks on this website. America My Face is the most popular. <sighs> Hi, I'm analytical and I'm very analytical. As you can tell, I love numbers. And now that I'm making video content, I love knowing how many people are engaging with that content. And it's, it's, a, it's crazy for me to see these numbers. I want to show you how to add Google Analytics tracking into your website. Google Analytics is one of the most popular platforms for seeing how many people are going to your website, going to different pages on your website, interacting with things. So let's dive in and go to analytics.google.com and you'll be prompted to create an account unless you already have one then go to the admin section you could select website and just fill in your name for this uh, my website name is soundboard and then you can select a category time zone and then just click okay we need to get the tracking info just click tracking code this will give us a little bit of code we can just copy and paste in to our html file as the first item into the head of every web page you want to track great We've done it. We've set up Google Analytics. What this would give us access to under behavior and site content, we could see how many page views we're getting. So right now we only have one page on our website, the root directory or slash, and here are other ways people have gotten to the website, apparently through Facebook Share. It. I also want to know which images people are clicking on, just for a fun experiment to see what's the most popular. I've pulled up some of the Google Analytics documentation, and feel free to read this over, but I'm going to show you the commands we're going to use, and I'll explain what they're doing. But it's always good to know where the documentation is if you want to make changes to what I've done or understand a little bit more. Every time this play function gets clicked, let's create a tracking event. So I'll just copy and paste in what I have. We're calling the gtag function and it takes a few parameters. The first is the type of thing we want to track. So we want to track an event. That event will be called play. And the final parameter is an object. We've got a label for the event, and we're just going to pass in the clip name instead of URL. So every time we click an image, and I actually can show you this in real time. So in the real time section under event, click stunning a few times. Brown cow, stunning. Now we can see it knows there's a desktop user. It's getting some play events. So I hit it 15 times. And if we click event category general, we can see the label. Let's click a few of these. Dot com, dot com, dot com. Ooh, ah, ah, sensation, honey. And we see in real time for the last 30 minutes, which events we're getting. It was so cool when, when so many people were logging in to see the website and click it. I was so excited to see what everyone wanted to click and how many times people were clicking it. That was just a really cool feeling. And it's also cool you can see who's on desktop versus mobile, which was really great for me to know that there were so many people viewing this on their phone. If you watch previous videos in this series, you'll see we optimized it for mobile and that was such a great decision. I would also love to know how many people are clicking on the Kodak Queen analytical link, which takes people to my YouTube channel. So I can know if this is an effective way to get people to view my channel. Back to under behavior and events, click the overview to see all the events. We can see of the 90, over 90,000 events, 0.1% of people clicking on that link. I still got a few new subscribers and welcome to my channel if you're one of those new subscribers. I am delighted to have you with us. How do we add tracking to this link? With some Googling, you can find the answer, but again, I'll show you what I ended up doing. So they recommend adding an on-click function to this link. Call this viewing my channel. Let's go back to their script and create a new function called viewing my channel. And we can just do pretty much the same thing we did above. We've got an event. This time it's a click event and our event label is YouTube channel link. Let's go back to our live view so we can see this happening in real time as well. Now we click there. It should appear right away. Well, this has been a crazy journey to build our first HTML, CSS, and finally JavaScript website to create it and make it production ready, make it mobile friendly, make it accessible, make it social media shareable, add Google Analytics. We've done so many things in just a few videos. I hope all of you following along are proud of yourselves. Comment below what kind of projects you want to see in the future. That's all for this series. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below, like, share this with your friends, code together. It's so much more fun when you're coding with friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!